In this video, we look at exothermic and endothermic reactions. An exothermic reaction gives out heat to the surroundings. The temperature of the reaction mixture will increase. An endothermic reaction absorbs heat from the surroundings. The temperature of the reaction mixture will decrease. Most chemical reactions are exothermic. Some important examples of exothermic reactions are combustion and neutralization. Next we look at enthalpy. Enthalpy change is the amount of heat evolved or absorbed in a reaction carried out at constant pressure. It is given the symbol delta H. The enthalpy of a substance cannot be measured. Only a change in enthalpy can be measured. Standard enthalpy change of reaction which is given the symbol delta H naught, and this means at standard conditions, is the heat energy transferred under standard conditions. And standard conditions are pressure of 101.3 kilopascals and a temperature of 298 Kelvin. Enthalpy level diagrams. Here's an enthalpy level diagram for an exothermic reaction. As you can see, the reactants are at a higher enthalpy than the products. This means that the products are more energetically stable than the reactants because they have a lower enthalpy. And you can also see that the delta H for the reaction is negative. That's because heat is released in an exothermic reaction. So just to recap, we have an exothermic reaction. The products are more stable than reactants because they have a lower enthalpy and delta H is negative. Here we have the enthalpy level diagram for an endothermic reaction. As you can see, the products have a higher enthalpy than the reactants, which means the reactants are more energetically stable than the products. And the delta H for an endothermic reaction is positive because heat is being absorbed. So we have an endothermic reaction, the reactants more stable than products because they have a lower enthalpy, and delta H is positive. Let's have a quick summary. With an exothermic reaction, we have a temperature increase, Delta H is negative or less than zero, and the products are more energetically stable than the reactants. For an endothermic reaction, we'll have a temperature decrease, delta H is positive or greater than zero, and the reactants are more energetically stable than the products. 